If you're going to China, what's the best route to travel? To understand the vast nation, you can head to its capital, Beijing, and walk the special line at its center, the 7.8-kilometer-long Beijing Central Axis. Different chapters of Chinese history are laid out along this axis and arranged in incredible symmetry, reflecting China's cultural and spiritual essence. Come with us to explore this UNESCO World Heritage Site that might be on your next visit to the East. In the 13th century, in the reign of China's Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan and his Yuan Dynasty, a four-kilometer-long central axis took form in Beijing. In the 15th century, the third emperor of the Ming Dynasty expanded the city to increase the axis by one kilometer. Then, when Beijing's new outer city was built a hundred years later, the axis was lengthened again to its modern dimensions. In the 18th century, an upgrade to the imperial palace included the construction of pavilions on the man-made Jingshan Hill. Through over 700 years, generations of Chinese emperors collectively created the pinnacle of history that is now called the Beijing Central Axis. So what lies along this mysterious line? Let's take a look. Starting from its northern end, we find the iconic Bell Tower, and opposite it, the Drum Tower. They once kept time for the capital, and the square is now a favorite hangout for Beijing's longtime residents. Further down lies the Empress Back Garden, Jingshan Hill, with the best views of the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City, where generations of emperors resided, and ritual sites like the Imperial Ancestral Temple and the Altar of Land and Grain, Tiananmen Gate, which was the original entry gate to the Imperial City, and finally, Yongdingmen Gate at the end of the axis, standing for eternal stability. The Beijing Central Axis is a masterpiece of city planning because its attention to detail goes much deeper than you might notice at first glance. This line is 500 zhang long, which is around 1.6 kilometers, and perfectly divides Beijing's palace quarter into three equal parts. Let's zoom in to take the total area of the Forbidden City, which can be perfectly arranged in a 7x7 grid into Beijing's inner city. And if we look even closer and draw a series of lines spaced 32 meters apart, the palace is meticulously designed on an increasing scale. Can we go even closer? Most certainly. This is the drum tower. We can see the roof is held up by layers of interlocking wooden brackets. Its overall size is determined by the length of the doko, which comes in a variety of sizes and dictates the importance of each building according to its placement along the central axis. As a famous Chinese architect once said, Beijing's unique magnificence and order is founded on the city's central axis. But when did the central axis first arise in China? The answer lies much further back. From the 5,000-year-old Nanzuo ruins, to the 3,800-year-old Arlito ruins, and by 2,000 years ago, an ancient text called the Rites of Zhou had already stipulated a central axis was vital to an orderly nation. Since then, the cities of Yecheng, Luoyang, Chang'an, Kaifeng, and other ancient capitals were all built with a central axis layout. China's capitals were founded on centrality and symmetry reflecting a deep identity with the land they called Zhongguo. For Chinese people, the central axis is more than just a line in their capital, Beijing. It is an extraordinary collective creation of their motherland. The philosophies of bygone sages, the decisions of past emperors and nobles, and the ingenuity of master artisans of old, as well as the lives of millions of ordinary people, have all helped to give rise to today's Beijing Central Axis. As one scholar once said, there is no other nation as committed to a symmetrical central axis. So what is the best route to travel and understand China? Now you know the answer, the Beijing Central Axis.
that stands for 5,000 years of Chinese history, philosophy, and culture. So when you visit, feel the city's brickwork and spaces. It's one of China's greatest legacies. Welcome to Beijing. Welcome to China.